Bonsoir, bon appétit. Tonight I'm making a quick meal. This is a new series for me. It's quick meals that you can make in under 20 to 30 minutes. Bonsoir, bon appétit. All right, this is a quick dinner. And what I did is I bought some raviolis. Um, I didn't make them, but the grocery store made them. And they're chicken garlic raviolis. You could use, oh my gosh, uh, any raviolis. This is a quick dinner. This will cook in four minutes in boiling water. But then I'm going to make a butter, lemon, garlic, shallot, pepper, basil sauce, which is amazing. So what I did is I did about, oh, two to three tablespoons of basil chopped up. I took a half a lemon, juiced it, took some lemon zest from it. Um, this is a sweet pepper that I had left over from another dish I made the other day. Uh, actually, if you want to check it out, it's my prime rib uh, rotisserie. And I have a small shallot that I uh, chopped up. I have two basils with the flour on it. That's going to be for garnishment. And by the way, it's edible. And just in case I don't have enough, this is the leftover stems from the basils. I got uh, one clove of garlic, chopped, smushed. So what I did, check out my other um, videos to see how I did this, but I basically peeled it, crushed it, snapped on it, chopped it, and that's, that's it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about, oh, half a stick of butter, and I'm gonna melt that. And first, I'm going to bring my water to a boil with a little salt in it, and we'll come back. Really easy meal, about 10 minutes. My water came to a boil. I lowered the heat. Well, I am melting my butter. So this is very important. I want to add some olive oil in this. What that does, it prevents the butter I'm burning and it's good not to have scorch, scorched uh, butter <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna let this melt down and then I'll add my shallots my garlic my peppers then I'll add my basil and then my lemon zest then my lemon juice and oh my gosh it's gonna be a spectacular sauce it goes very quick We'll be back. Okay, so my half stick of butter and a touch of olive oil is coming to a splattering kind of boil. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my sweet peppers that I chopped up, my shallots, my garlic. Drop all that in there. I don't want to waste any. I'm going to give that... Oh, I don't know, like a minute. Just let that soak in there. And what I need is a spoon here. And I'm just going to make sure it goes into there. Now I'm going to leave this cooked gently on the lowest heat for about two or three minutes. Oh, and by the way, I started a timer. At this point, I start my timer when I drop my shallots and garlic and everything in there um, and sweet peppers. And I'm going to let that cook for about two minutes, maybe three. And then I will add the rest of it. I'm going to show you my new stove. It's a Le Corneau. It's an amazing stove. The top is gas. The bottom is electric. I have two ovens, and they're both convectional, um, and just amazing. Um, you can customize with them, like the, the finishes and everything, the color, just amazing. I selected, um, in addition to get the French plate, just actually just wonderful. Wonderful thing. Okay, so now this is 
2 minutes and 27 seconds. Perfect. I'm going to add my basil. I'm going to add my lemon. I'm going to add my lemon zest. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. I'm just going to push that in there. Stir that pretty good. And this is my sauce. And now I'm going to add a little dry Chardonnay. By the way, never use a wine that you would not drink. So if you buy a wine and you buy the cheapest one and it tastes like, you know, you wouldn't drink it. Don't use it for cooking because that's not a good thing. <laughs> it will reflect in your food. So it's worth the investment. Now, most of the alcohol is going to be evaporated and the calories will drop down. So don't worry about that. And by the way, I really don't care about calories. You can see in my photos. I care about good food. I go for the taste. Now this is going to come to a boil. Yeah. And I just want to keep it sautéing like this for another, oh, three minutes. So, with that said, my water is coming back to a boil. And now I'm going to be ready to add my raviolis. Yeah, look at that. And these are chicken garlic raviolis, as I mentioned before. I'm going to drop that in. And toss it a little bit. Now, four minutes after the water comes back to a boil. And that's what the sauce is looking. And I got it on the lowest heat. And I want this to just evaporate. Now, if you want, you can add... Um, a little cream to this, which I don't know, I'm debating it right now. Make it really a creamy basil sauce. Doesn't that sound awesome? Let's do that. Oh my gosh. All right, I wasn't gonna do it, but let's go to my fridge, grab my heavy cream. I gotta do this now. I'll edit some of this. Sorry, guys. But look, I'm going to add a little heavy cream in there. And this has been at five minutes. So I wouldn't, now I, I'm going to turn off the heat because I don't want it to um, just go crazy with the sauce there. And I'm going to spin that. And look how beautiful that is. Maybe a little more. Maybe quart cup the most. I mean judge it. Just pour it in there. And you see how now it's consistent? That's where I want it. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, in the meantime, my pasta is cooking. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm just gonna tap down on it. I'm not gonna beat it up because I need four minutes on that. So I got three minutes to go, and I'll show you how that all looks. Now I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm just gonna put it back on gently, all the way gently. And I'm gonna keep stirring that. That's gonna be amazing. Now, now I wanna season it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some black pepper and a good pinch. Boom. Yeah. Steve likes two pinches. All right. I'm going to stir that in. And the basil, the lemon, the sweetness, the cream. Oh my gosh. And guys, always experiment with my dishes. Just add some things. I'm going to add some salt in there. I use uh, sea salt 
Okay, let's spin that a little more. Oh my god, that looks beautiful. Alright, let me taste it. Uh, let me get a different spoon. Well, I'll just use a different spoon to stir it. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I don't need anything else than that. Okay. I'm gonna. Raviolis are gonna be done. We're almost there. And I will plate everything. Hey, so my raviolis are done. I'm gonna bring them, drop them in there. Oh my gosh. And I just wanna cool it down a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Okay, my sauce is done. Right, 12, oh, 13 minutes. Okay, my sauce has been done. i just been, eh, you know, letting it do its thing. I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna add it to my raviolis. And if I had two hands, it would be easier. But now I'm just going to toss that. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. Now I'm going to serve. And keep in mind, again, I'm using one hand. Uh, all right, let's do that. Raviolis. There we go. Sorry about the camera. It was terrible. I'm going to cut this out because it looks so bad. But it's hard to do it with one hand. Ah. But this is going to be so delicious. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Beautiful. Okay. Now, I've got my two plates here. And I'm just going to... Um, first going to add Parmesan. And just grate some Parmesan over it. And then I will add my basil on top of it. 